In this lesson, we are going to define and introduce the idea of a system of equations. A uh, system of equations is you are looking for a solution that um, a solution to a, a system of equations is more than one equation, more than one variable. So, um, so you have these three different situations, and, and the idea is um, you have these two equations. So you have some sort of a y equals, let's call it a 3x minus 4, and then you have another line that is like a y equals maybe a negative x plus 3. Um, and you're trying to find the solution to this. So what does that mean? Well, each line, the reason why you draw the line is, you know, you plot points and you do the rise over run, you have all these different coordinates. So all of those points on the blue are solutions to this equation. All of these points are solutions to this equation. So they satisfy the equation. What you're looking for in order to solve a system of equations is a point that satisfies both equations. And that is where they cross. So that's your goal. Uh, but unfortunately, not all lines cross, not all graphs cross, because at some point we're not just gonna be graphing lines, you're gonna be graphing all sorts of different things. So but you're still looking for that one point because that one point is going to satisfy um, both equations. And depending upon the types of graphs, you may have more than one solution. They may be a parabola connecting with a line. So you may have two solutions. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this. We're going to show there's a graphical way to do this. There's an, uh, two different algebraic ways to do this. There's even a, a matrix calculator way of doing this. So um, we'll have at least four different ways of doing it. But however, we'll have three different scenarios as we go, at least with the linears, is the lines can cross. The lines can be parallel. So then they don't have a share a common point. So then there's a no solution to that. Um, and then the lines could be on top of one another. That means you have infinite solutions. So if they're parallel, you have no solution. If they are the same, then you have infinitely many solutions. And then they, otherwise, the majority of the time, they just cross. So you got one point. Okay, so they intersect. So there's also some fancy language that goes with this. That anytime you have a solution to it, which are these two, anytime you have something that is, is there's a solution to it, it's known as consistent. So your equations are consistent. Uh, but then there's two different kinds of consistent because this is one solution and this is infinite solution. So the fact that they have a solution they're called consistent. But the difference between one solution and infinite solutions is the next part. That in order for these lines to be exactly the same, they have to be what's called dependent. They're dependent of each other. One line is exactly the same as the other line, so they, they are dependent on each other. So if you have infinite solutions, it's gonna be known as dependent. So then if infinite solutions are dependent, then one solution is independent. So having one solution means you have a solution which makes it consistent and you have the lines aren't dependent upon each other whatsoever so it's called consistent and independent. If you have a solution but you have infinite many solutions, consistent means you have a solution, dependent means you have infinitely many solutions because they are perfect, um, they're identical to each other. And then um, if you don't have a solution, such as this, then you're inconsistent. So consistent means solution, so inconsistent's gonna mean no solution. So no solution is inconsistent. And then if they're inconsistent, they're definitely independent of each other. All right, so, um, and this just kinda defines some of the other pieces to it, um, but basically that kinda summarizes it. So that's a little bit of an introduction to system of equations. Um, and then we're going to do the algebra be, uh, behind it on the next couple videos. We're going to talk about, um, we're just going to graph them, and we're going to use substitution, we're going to use elimination, and then eventually we're going to use matrices to solve them.